we're back with more of the blah, blah, blah. Hey, Bunny, guess what? What? No, I guess. Actually, um, yes. The, the little prizes that you would get in Cracker Jacks, or, or you could save the Bazooka comic for, like, a pair of binoculars or something. That. I, I, I ate so much Bazooka Joe comics that I, I, I saved so many Bazooka Joe comics from all the Bazooka Joe that I, I ate so much that I was able to trade those in and get my wife, Natasha. <laughs> nice. That you is have no good. idea how many Bazooka Joes I had to, to chew. I, I I didn't know she was Russian, but with a name like Natasha, I, I kind of yeah. should have guessed. Yeah. Her real name is Natasha Kutsleva. Just, 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 just. <laughs> yeah. With the original name. Yeah. No, 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 no. My Coloradan compadre. Coloradian? Co- Coloradoanite? Uh, Col- Colo, 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 Coloroid, Coloroid. Coloroid. Now that one sounds weird. It's homework time once again on the beloved Pope on Film podcast. <coughs> People of the internet, your attention, please. Cease your food Instagramming and kindly pay attention. Uh huh. Each week, the dreaded Council of Eleanors screams and throws a fit, and then carefully chooses a brand new homework assignment via the fiery ritual of carousel. <laughs> A homework assignment that has been painstakingly chosen with the expressed extent of bettering the podcast listeners, nay, superheroes everywhere, but not you, Iron Fist. (laughs) You do not count. Have you gotten that far? No, I have not. I was getting really far into... uh, you finishing Jessica Jones, and then I started watching Daredevil, and Daredevil's really good, and I really like their Punisher. But then I got Hulu, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, I can still watch Netflix. And wait, you have Hulu has all of the drunk history. <laughs> oh well, I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, uh, Hulu has been distracting me from my Netflix. I really like the fact that that I really like who they got for Electra, because looking back at um, Ben Affleck, it's ridiculous. It's like, well, let's see a Greek assassin. You know who we should get for this? Jennifer Garner. (laughs) Yeah. You know who we should get for this foreign assassin? Jennifer freaking Garner. Mm-hmm. How ridiculous is that? You know? <laughs> How utterly ridiculous is that? That is this week's horribly ridiculous. Yeah. Is yeah. is how I how I would answer that damn question. Yeah. Horribly. And this week's homework assignment is a long form magazine article. From GQ about Chili's restaurants. And surprisingly, this week's homework is also about the HBO show Veep and the NBC hit comedy The Office. Why, you ask? Stop asking so many fucking questions. (laughs) Why don't you just trust me? Jesus Christ. This is episode 149. And you're giving me shit. Mm -hmm. Just trust me. Okay, this week's homework assignment is the 2016 long form GQ magazine article entitled Inside the Church of Chili's. Yes, I, I, I hate I hate these people. I, 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 I found this kind of frightening, this article. Yeah. And we know where the blockbuster guy went to. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. The f- oh, you you saying hi? You saying hello to Bunny and Jeannie? 
Yeah, say hi. hi. Bunny said hi to you. Yeah. Do you always eat the desk, Eleanor? You shouldn't be <laughs> eating desks. That's really weird. <laughs> don't, don't, don't bite the desk. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't bite the desk. Don't bite the desk. <laughs> Hurt yourself biting the desk like that. Chili's uh -huh. is the place no one ever wants to go, but that people just end up going to. Yes. People don't ever say, hey, 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 fuck yeah, let's go to Chili's. That's where we are definitely, we're going out with the expressed intent of going to a Chili's. No one has ever said that. No. It's just the, yeah, where do you want to go? I don't know. Uh, and you drive around Chili's? and there's a Chili's. Yeah. Yeah. And then you go, eh, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. Let's go to Chili's. You can't have crazy string. You yeah. can't have you can't have silly string. Eleanor. How do you even know what that is? You can't have the silly string, okay? No silly string for you. That is a fake cry. <laughs> it's real. So the article even mentions how, in the beginning of the article, it, it mentions how Chili's excels at being just good enough. <laughs> and that is so true. Personally, I don't love Chili's. I'm more of an Applebee's guy. Well, see, for us, it's, it's like, uh, let's go out to eat and we drive up to Garden of the Gods was just like the next street over more or less. And there's an Applebee's, there's a Black Eyed Peas. What's that other one? The TGI Friday, is it? Yeah. The place with the good salad bar. Yeah. Whatever. And there's and there's there is no chilies or or we would eat eat in chilies. Yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. look up at chilies. Yeah, I'm more of an Applebee's guy or um, um, maybe a TGI Fridays in a pinch. Yeah, I'm not a big I'm not a big Chili's guy because it, it seems as if a lot of the shit on their menu is just spicy or somewhat spicy, like 50 or 60 percent of their menu is at least a bit spicy. And yeah. I have a very sensitive mouth. Really? Yeah, I have an extremely sensitive mouth. I can't do anything spicy. I have a very sensitive mouth. And uh, going back to something I said earlier here on the podcast, my sensitive mouth is but one of the many reasons why my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> I brought it back. Mm -hmm. I brought yes, back. Yes, you did. But anyways, Chili's does have a, a small spot close to my heart because it may or may not be responsible for my wife giving birth to Eleanor. Uh-huh. Okay. Because El because Natasha wanted uh, to, to, to give a, a natural home birth despite not being able to do that any of the other times. Yeah. But, but she felt that she could, and I supported her in that, and then she just waited to give birth and waited some more, and then waited some more, and then waited some more, and it's like... Two and a half weeks past her due date, and we're going freaking insane, and we're arguing with each other, and we're pissed off, and and we're, you know, we're our nerves are just like shot. Yeah. And so, one day Natasha is just like laying on the bed, and she's just huge, and she's about to pop at any second, and, and she just said, "I've had enough, guys. Let's get in the car." <laughs> and she said. And I and I said, where are we going? And she said, we're going to Chili's, and I'm going to eat the spiciest shit they have. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to eat as much food as I can to to force her out, and then I'm going to eat as much spicy shit as I can again to maybe smoke Burn her, her out. out. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's war, and it's time for this baby to get the fuck out of me. <laughs> so we went to Chili's and we all got stuff. Natasha got like spicy jalapeno whatevers. 
and ate like crazy. And then after that, she said, okay, now let's walk around Walmart for about three or four hours. Okay. So she figured like, here's the spicy food. And now what am I doing? I'm working out. And we just did laps around the big, huge Walmart in town after Chili's but it worked and by the time like we were at the Walmart she was starting to feel a little bit of contractions and that's what led to Eleanor giving birth so I don't like Chili's but I will give Chili's like a like a like a participation trophy Uh because uh, there's a possibility that it may or may not but probably not but maybe helped in the birth of Eleanor (laughs) they're they're all the same chain restaurants absolutely are they absolutely are. So I hadn't read the article before I assigned it as homework. I was expecting like a funny, honest, sharp, brutal takedown of Chili's and soulless franchise restaurants everywhere and yada, yada, yada. But it quickly went from a behind the scenes look at the life of uh, the Chili's Corporation into like a sweet freaking coming of age story. Y- yes, but, you know, at that point in the article. It, it it was more invasion of the body snatchers because it was like, oh my god, he's one too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. And I, I don't know about you, but that fucking creeped me out. These people scare me. They are so fucking cultish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With their chants and their yeah call in response basically it's a it's a cult like like one of them was like ready to kick her college kick her college career in criminal justice and just stay at chili's yeah yeah it's ridiculous what is wrong with you you cannot have this eleanor you cannot have it i'm sorry this is all mommy stuff you know we've bought you expensive toys that light up and make music why do you hate all of those (laughs) no i'm not giving that to you eleanor I know life sucks. <laughs> uh, also, I'm not a big fan of margaritas. Uh, I I kind of like a margarita from time to time, but yeah. but it's it's we're in a Chili's, you know. I mean, it's not a margarita place. Yeah. Yeah. Stop biting the desk. Why are you biting the desk again? That's weird, Eleanor. Don't. Don't bite the desk. I need someplace more tropical. Yeah. A street sign inside of a restaurant? Well, now I've seen (laughs) everything. But yeah, it's basically a cult of uh, yeah blockbuster video type mm-hmm. people, and all of the ins and outs of of ATL above the line. Yes, and exactly what their their corporate life is like. I now, the I, why- I used to work at T Mobile. T Mobile. And T-Mobile had a very, this is why I couldn't stand it. And I was only there like six months. They, they just had a, the same kind of cultish attitude while they were working us into the fucking ground, you know? And it was like, you know, shove it up your asses. Yeah. This is a job. What's wrong with you people? Yeah. I just I just want you to know that right now, if I seem a bit distracted, it's because I am painting my fingernails uh, a, a pink sparkly color. Okay. Any really reason? Pretty. Nope. Uh, because, I, because it was in front of me. Okay. 
I think this is really gonna like make my eyes pop. <laughs> Which is weird. I might have to see like a specialist or something. If your eyes do in fact pop? Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think guys are supposed to do that. Uh, <laughs> not really, but you do do you have a good chance of shoving it right back in if you're quick enough. Yeah. 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 You've got to be quick. Now the specific there is, there is no five second rule for an eyeball. True. Yeah. Very true. Now there's a specific reason why I chose this article. And I assumed you hadn't heard the very, 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 very small news blip that this article caused. No. But uh, it's some interesting stuff. Um, the reason why I chose this article is because one of the executive producers of the hit NBC show Veep uh -huh. just optioned the rights to this article. <laughs> really and is turning it into a uh tv sitcom probably oh. without chilies i don't think that you can i don't think that they could get chilies to agree with what they want to no doubt do with this article yeah but um yeah so this article is going to be turned into a non Chili's mentioning wacky sitcom, which as far as I can tell, uh -huh. <clears throat> would basically just be a lower paying food based The Office, right? Yeah. That's the first place I ever heard of Flair. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm imagining, like in my head, reading this article, uh -huh. I can absolutely see the show. Yes. And I can see like the 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 gym and the temp and the the drama and the one girl who's the bicycle. Yes. Like yeah. I, I can I, I can see full episodes of that in my head if I close my eyes and think real hard enough, you know? I really just don't want to think that hard because, again, they, they, they frighten me. Yeah. Yeah, but I imagine, I imagine, like, they'll fictionalize it, like, welcome to TJ McFinnerman's. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know? Welcome to JP McApple Blossoms. <laughs> <clears throat> or something to that effect. You know, I can, I, I can see... I can see the whole thing in my head. Mm -hmm. I can see the show. And, and, and restaurants just don't have any, like, atmosphere anymore for the most part. Yeah. You know, not places like this anyway. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's the only reason why I picked this bit of homework. You know, I would see that show. I would see it for the 13 episodes until it was canceled by NBC. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'd go, oh, they canceled. They canceled it. Oh, it was pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it was all right. Yeah. That's that's what NBC is all about when it comes to comedies. <laughs> just going Except for all right. Yeah. Yeah. They're just going for all right. Except Superstore. I love Superstore. They they did bring that back? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, they're on the they're on their like they're on their third season right now. Uh huh. Bob's burgers is on its eighth season, and I don't know when that happened. <laughs> like I swear to God, it still seems like a brand new show to me. Yeah, yeah. Me too, and I've never watched it. It's damn good. It's damn good. But the reason why I, I love Bob's Burgers so much is because I was a huge fan of the um, Adult Swim cartoon home movies. Uh-huh. And it was a mostly ad-libbed show uh, about this young kid and his friends, and they make home movies with his uh, camcorder. 
Uh huh. And it was just a funny, stupid, adorable, wonderful show. And the majority of the people who worked on that show are now doing Bob's Burgers. Oh, okay. The show was created by two people. And one person went on to make the Adult Swim cartoon Deathlock, I think is what it's called. Okay. It's about a fake death metal band. Okay. I might have heard that. Yeah. It's it's an important show in the fact that this fake death metal band released a fake death metal album, which was so successful that it is now the most successful death metal album of all time. (laughs) In the history of death metal, the one album that has sold the most copies was made by a fake band. That is... It says something the, the very state important of metal. about death metal. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. It says something important about metal. It most certainly does. Yeah. And then the other guy who created home movies got most of the exact same cast and did Bob's Burgers. So that's why I love Bob's Burgers, because I was a huge fan of home movies. Brendan, love that show. So, <laughs> so good. Anyway, that's it for homework. That's a that's it for homework. I, I knew uh, notes from the bookstore might be a long one, so I didn't I didn't want to give that huge of a homework assignment this week. Yes. So and, that and, and and how long can you have a conversation about chilies? You know. Yeah. How yeah. long does how long does chilies deserve to have a conversation about it? Yeah. I've never had their uh, baby back ribs. Only because fuck that jingle. Oh God, yes. I I refuse to eat your baby back ribs, uh, Mister Company, sir. Because <laughs> I hate that jingle so goddamn much mm-hmm. that I I refuse to even acknowledge it. I've also never had a McRib. You've never had a McRib. I I, I have had a McRib or two. Like when they first came out. Yeah. I've never gotten into the, oh my God, the McRib is coming back. Fuck Natasha used to. Yeah. Natasha used to. Yeah. We were on a road trip. I think we were going from uh, LA to Sacramento and we were driving and suddenly we, you know, we're just pat- on the, the highway, on the freeway, on the interstate. Um, and we passed McDonald's and I noticed that they have a banner that says McRib is back. And I just read it out loud because it's just a road trip and that's what you do. And it says, oh, the McRib is back. And suddenly Natasha like cuts through like a five lane highway to get to the exit <laughs> so that she could get herself a McRib. And I've never seen anything like that before. And now if the McRib comes back, she doesn't even care. But at that point she did and she needed a McRib. And, and, yes, was, she cared, and she cared a lot. Yeah, it was some insane, amazing uh, um, Vin Diesel type shit. <laughs> hey, the McRib is back! Really? <laughs> it, was, it was incredible. It was incredible. Never seen anything like that before. Mm-hmm. And that is it for homework this week. And we sincerely, hopefully, hope, hope, seerfully, maybe. We hope that your hearts, minds, and veins have all been suitably opened. Yes. Uh, uh, but don't think you're getting out of here that easily, muchacho. Don't forget next week's homework assignment. And for next week, we're going way against the grain for homework. All right. So for reasons that I will get into next week, we are doing another dueling lists. Dueling lists. Once again. Next, nice. Next week, you and I, Bunny, will both be coming up with nine new and unique conspiracy theories that I can use on Twitter. You feel me there? Uh, yes, I do. Cons. Nine new and unique conspiracy theories that I can use on Twitter. Why? We will get into that next week.
this is stuff we're making up, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Or stuff that could be true. Yeah. It's up to you. New and unique conspiracy theory that I can use on Twitter against white people. Against white people. That's important. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's next week. Homework, dueling list, nine new and unique conspiracy theories that I can use on Twitter to piss off white people. Uh, <laughs> and we will be discussing why. Okay, so, for, for you to piss off white people or... Or yes. okay, I, I I thought maybe like conspiracies against white people. Either or, either or. I'm looking for conspiracies that may or that could be true, that may or may not be true, that I can use to just piss off some white people. Okay, got it. We can do this. Yeah. Hillary Clinton is a lizard person. Yeah. But, but, um, she's a lizard person from the bad side of town. <laughs> like in the lizard city that she was born in, she was on like the other side of the lizard tracks. Yes. It's actually a poor lizard. <laughs> that's that that's, was that's not terribly surprising. Yeah. That's why she maybe, killed maybe, Vince Foster. Yeah, maybe we can come up with exactly what kind of lizard is she. Yeah. Like, is she an iguana or is she like a gecko? You know, is she an anole? Hillary Clinton regularly takes off her human skin suit. Yes. So that she can star in a series of Geico commercials. <laughs> <laughs> just came up with that one that's a off good the one. top of me head thank you but that's next week five new and unique conspiracy theories that i can use piss off white people on twitter that is next week on homework with the pope on phil got it